Hello, welcome to Stop Gap Home Practice. This drum class is about a three different level of technique. Hello, I'm Nadan. My pronoun is he, him. I am a wheelchair dance artist, and today I'm wearing a black top, gray trouser, black shoe, with a uh, dark blue and light gray uh, sniff. Right now, I am in a bright and wooden studio. Behind me, I have a plant, a uh, some picture a book and water bottle. So this section, it is about three different level of technique. So you can choose which version best suit you. And this is a version two for a people with that experience. So let's get what you need and please make this a, a class useful to your body. So let's get started. So right now I'm going to lead you a, a spine exercise. So this exercise it is about how to get how to get your spine is moving and to be ready for the class. And also this exercise I get inspired by a gyro technique. So I grab my front bar, I snake it with my spine all the way to the back and lean to the back and re-pull my spine and come back up quick. I twist to the side, do exactly the same thing, snake my spine, leaning to the side and reverse it to come back up quick. The last side, I snake with my spine, leaning to the side and reverse my spine back up quick to the center. That's the first chunk of that exercise. And then from here, I draw a, 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 a small circle from my shoulder, small circle, and big circle bringing with your arm, finding a C curve in your front surface, and open your chest out and close to find a C curve, it's a bit more to your, your, your back surface, and bring your arm all the way up to the uh, uh, ceiling, and put your arm down, and lift something from underneath. For this one, I'm leaning forward. So leaning forward here, lift something from underneath, and scooping in, and then reaching out, then I'm gonna flick. And the last bit, I snake, I snake my head to the, on this corner, so I snake my head to the corner, I scoop with my arm, and bring, and leaning, sorry, leaning forward to bring my arm down, and then rolling back up to the center. And then I'm gonna repeat on this side. So I, I snake to the corner, a big scoop with my arm, leaning forward, and rolling back up to the center. So before we're gonna uh, practice with music, I would like to do one last time just to make sure you got this. Yep. So, I transfer, sorry, I grab my front bar, I snake my spine, lean into the back, I re-pull my spine and come back up quick. I twist to the sides, Snake with my spine, leaning to the side, and reverse my spine, come back up quick. The last size, snake with my spine, leaning to the side, and reverse my spine, come back up quick. Back to the center, shoulder roll back, small one, 
and the big shoulder roll back, a big one with your arm, bringing your arm forward to find a C curve with your front surface. surface. Open your chest out to the ceiling, really big and close to find a C curve for your, uh, for your back surface. So you know, I turn to this diagonal, uh, this diagonal here that you can see here. It's about your, your back. And from here, I, I bring my arm over my head and then put that arm down to the side, leaning forward to lift something from underneath and scooping in, reaching out and flick out, put the arm down. I snake my head to the corner, scoop with my arm, leaning forward and come back up to the center. Repeat for the last side. Snake with my spine, oh, sorry, snake with my head, scooping out, leaning forward and come back up to the center. That is the whole thing for this exercise. So, we're going to practice with music for one time and then we're going to do with a audio description for uh, later. When you're ready, and I snake my spine, leaning to the back, and repulk, and come out quick. I twist to the sides, snake my spine, and repull my spine, come back up quick to the center, twist to another side, and snake, lean to the side, and they pull my spine, come back up to the center, shoulder circle, big circle with my shoulder, bring with my arm, find a C curve to my front surface, open the chest to the ceiling and close to find a C curve for your back surface, bring your arm all the way to the ceiling and leaning forward lifting something from underneath and scoop and reaching out and flick and snake scoop leaning forward come back up and snake scoop leaning forward come back up we're gonna do with audio a description Grabbing the front bars of his chair that then snakes his spine leaning forward, then leans back in his chair. He then reverses the movement by rippling the spine leaning forward and back into an upright position. Twisting to one side, he snakes the spine forward and leans back in his chair, then ripples the spine forward and back into an upright position. He repeats this movement on the opposite side. Facing forward, Nadan draws a small circle with his shoulders followed by a bigger circle with his hands on his shoulders. He immediately finds a C curve with his spine and arms as if he's hugging the beach ball. He then opens his chest to the ceiling with his arms out wide then back to a C curve. He lifts his arms over his head and back down to his side, leaning forward as he scoops the air toward him, turning the palms away from each other with his arms stretched forward followed by a flick of the hands. He snakes his head to one side, finding a big scoop with his arm coming over his head and leans forward as he touches the floor, before ripping the spine back into an upright position. He then repeats this movement on the opposite side. What a good everyone. I hope that's warming up. So have a little bit of break, have a sip of water, and then come back for the next exercise. Very good, everyone. So right now, I'm going to lead you a swing exercise. This exercise, it is about a, um, it's a bit more like finding a rocking and throwing. To be honest with you, I found it's really challenging when I do a swing exercise. So that's why that my body just found out it's just a bit more 
a, a rocking and a little bit more a, a throwing. If you would like to take that swing exercise a little bit more in deep, so I recommend that you're gonna go have a, have a look at a, uh, the Momentum class by Tom. Very good. So let's find your center. So I'm gonna tap on this side because we're gonna start that side first. Yep. So on this side, so I'm gonna throw my arm to the back throw my arm to the back, and then I use that momentum to bring my arm a, it's kind of, so after I throw to the back, momentum will take me to like drawing a big circle, and then to throw that to the diagonal. Let's go like this. And come back up to the center. Go back and have a look at closely what I did with my this hand here. So when I throw it to the back and the momentum take me at the same time when I throw forward, you see, I pull this, this arm, I, I pull the wheel backwards. So let's go like this. And come back up to the center quick. Yeah? Exactly the same idea, I'm gonna transfer to another side. So I have. Here, so here, and come back up quick. Yep. Let's clarify from the tops again, on this side. So we have, and throw, come back up, and throw, come back up. When I back to the center, and go for a, the next section. So, the next one, I'm gonna uh, swing my arm or throw my arm forward like this. At the same time, I'm gonna find a balloon. So for you, you can find any balloon that you like today at the same time. So I throw forward and find a balloon and put it back in. I switch to another side, throw forward to find a balloon and put it back in. Yep. Let's go back again. So up the so from here, throw, come back in, here, throw, come back in, and then we go, throw forward, grab the top of my wheel, throw forward, grab the top of my wheel. But remember to add your own balloon. After that, so we're gonna twist, I'm gonna twist on this side with my a front wheel off the floor. So twist, twist, and then a full turn. Yep, so the full turn, I'm, I'm not put my front wheel until I finish my full turn. Have a look closely again together. So, we have, so, one, here, and here, and here, here, here. Yes? One last time. And here, 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 full turn. Yes. Very good, everyone. Let's finish with the last, the last bit. So the last one, I'm gonna go, so forward. I push, I push forward, I lean to the back. Let's go like this. One, two, three, Four, yes. So one, two, three, four. And from this one here, swing my arm forward. Let's go. Five, six, seven, and eight. So two, a, a two circle, the double circle. Really quick. Let's go back from the last bits again. Off we go. So here, here. Here, here, and arm. Back, arm, two. Quick circle with your arm. Oh my goodness. Let's try from the top together. So from the top. So we have, so, throw to the back, throw to the back, and throw to the front. Repeat to another side, 
throw to the back and the momentum take you to the front. Come back up to the center and you go front view off the floor, swing your arm forward, switch to another side, exactly the same thing. And from here, twist to the side with your front wheel off, of, off the floor and switch to another side, front wheel off the floor. And then you're gonna make a full turn going to this side here to finish to the front and then shifting forward, pulling back, shifting forward, pulling back here and swing your arm here, back, here, double circle. Yeah? So remember, don't forget to add your balance. Very good. Let's, let's practice with the music together a few times and then later on we're gonna do a audio description. It is a little bit fast, yeah? But don't worry, just have a time eh, to practice until you get that exercise into your body. There's some music. One. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yep. Right now, we're gonna do a bit of music after you get that rhythm in your body now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Very good. Ooh. So right now, we're gonna do a audio description. And after the audio description, we're gonna try one last time. Grabbing the front bar with one hand and then circles the arm from back to front, leaning forward as the arm comes over his head to touch the floor. He repeats this movement on the opposite side. With the front wheels off the floor, he swings one arm forward then repeats on the opposite side. Keeping the front wheels lifted, he swings his chair before turning into a full circle. He rocks the chair back and forth twice with an exaggerated lean, followed by three swings of the arms before making two big circles above his head. Very good. Last one together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Woo! Oh my god. Very good, everyone. Is that warming up? So have a little bit of break, have a sip of water, and then we go back for the, for the next uh, exercise. Very good, everyone. Oh, I feel really warm after I did my uh, swing exercise. So right now, let's move on for the next step. So this is a articulation exercise. And this exercise, it is about a finding articulate and a finding a rotation. So let's find your own working position. 
So I press the top of my uh, wheel and reaching forward and rotate out and put it back in. But at the same time, I finding my own button that I like today. So have a look first. So with the balance, I press the top of my wheel, reaching forward and rotate out and put it back in. It's mean put it back in, like even like from my front wheel as well. One more time, have a look. And, and put it back in. That is the move. And you're gonna need to pit this move quite a lot. So after you've done that, I, I would like you to uh, brush. So brush to the side, reaching out and rotate out and put back in. Don't forget finding your balance as well. I'm gonna show you. So brush out, rotate out, and put it back in. Exactly the same move, but we're going, going back. So I press the top of my wheel and reaching to the back and rotate out and put it back in. The last bit, I'm gonna repeat the for reaching to the sides again. So I press the top of my wheel reaching out and rotate out and put it back in. So that is a structure of this articulation at the side. So the first one, forward, the second one, side, the third one, the, it's the back, and the fourth one, repeat to the sides again. And after you've done that, you're gonna transfer that into your another side. So it's gonna be, gonna be like this. Brush the top of my wheel, reaching forward, rotate out, put it back in. Brush the top of my wheel, reaching out, and rotate out, put it back in. Brushing on the top of my wheel, reaching out, and rotate out, and put it back in. And brushing out, oh sorry, brushing on the top of my wheel, rotate out, sorry, reaching out and rotate out, and put it back in. Yeah, let's go. Front, side, back, side. That's it. To clear the files again from the top. So we go. Maybe we can practice with the count as well. Let's go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. That's it, guys. Oh, I forgot one more thing. I would like you to, fo to throw your focus. For example, for this one, I would like your eye follow your arm. And then when you to the side, your arm follow your arm. And when you to the back, I would like you a, uh, use your eye to follow your back as well. Remember from a first, uh, from our, a warm up exercise, we try to check in your back. That's really good. So let's try this again from the top from this side and then go to the other side. So five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Boom, that's it. Could we practice with music? So we're gonna pa practice with the music and then when you get that rhythm with music and then we go Try together, and after that, we're gonna do with a audio description. After the audio description, we're gonna do another two times. Yeah? Very good. Find your working position. Five, six, 
seven, eight. Very good. So now we're gonna do A for the OYO description. Lifting and dropping the front wheels every time that Dan brushes his hand forward and down, side and down, back and down, side and down, turning the palms up every time. He then repeats this movement on the opposite side. Really good everyone, have a little bit of shake and we're gonna try one last time from each size. Wait there. Get that rhythm. Very good, everyone. Woof. Have a little bit of silver water and then we come back for to finish with the fray. Very good, everyone. So right now we're gonna finish with a open language fray. So with this a fray, I'm gonna get inspired by a few words that I'm gonna pull out um, on the screen as well. So um, the first word, it is about a place. So you can place your hand any place that you want to do. So maybe on your forehead or your shoulder or your lap or your front bar or your top of your wheel. Yes, you have a place. So here, 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 here. But I just would like you to choose only one a, a movement that you or like for me I'm gonna choose this one so press here I'm gonna keep that the second word um, it is about a uh, grab so find any grab that you like any grab it's really clear really clear grab I recommend that you need to grab on and not on the hand that you're placing on the first move. So for example, this is my first move for the place and then grab. Yep, yeah? you see that? It's really clear. Yes, yeah, go pop, pop, like that. Again, pop, pop. This is my move, but I would like you to figure it out for your own move. Yeah? So that is the second word is a grab. And remember, after you play with that grab, try to choose one that you like. Word number three. It is about a fraction. So any fraction that you want to do with your body. So have a play with that. Any mood that you like. And also, I recommend that it could be that move come from a, your second move, if from a uh, grab. I'm gonna show you. So, this is my first move, i show you. So, place, grab, fraction. That's my third move, yep. That's my third move, fraction. So, this one. The forward. Well, the forward it is about a throw. Any throw that you like. You throw to the front, you throw to the side, or you're throwing up, throwing down. Yep. Choose one that you feel comf comfortable with. 
for me, I'm going to choose this one. So, and put it back in. Now we have four words together. So, I'm going to go back from the top for the first, my first one. I hope I can remember this. And we have press, grab, friction, and throw. Did you see? Boom, 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 boom. One more time. And press, grab, friction, and throw. After I throw here, I put my arm is on my lap. Or you can put your arm to the sides. And from here, the five word, it is smoke. Find any smoke movement that you want to do. So have a play. Smoke movement. Smoke movement. Smoke movement. For me, myself, I like this move. So I'm going to do, so one, two, three, four, and then from here, I would like to end up my arm like the same level of my nose here. Yeah, and then from here, I'm going to do a, a after that I smoke. You know what? Before I'm going to do the next word, let's go back from the top. So we have press, grab, friction, throw, smoke, 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 smoke. Word number six. Word number six is about a finding a sharp pin, like that from here. So my, this is my sharp pin, maybe here and Yep, choose the one that you enjoy the ball with. So for me, like I show you the first one, I'm gonna start from here to this one. This is my a, a sharp pin. Yep. So let's go back from the top. Hope you can remember this. So we have breath, grab, friction, throw, smoke, 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 and sharp pin. Very good. Now we're going to word seven. The word seven is, it's easy. So upstairs you find a sharp pin, drop, find any drop. A drop movement. So drop it down. Yep. Drop. That's it. And then I would like to go back from the top. So we have press, grab, friction, Throw, smoke, 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 and sharp pin drop. That's cool. I like it. Nice one. The next one, I'm going to repeat the word a press. It's quite fast. Press, and I'm going to repeat a. Let's find, yeah, let find your own a move. You can do the same move that you have, or you can pick up a different move. But for me, Press, and then I would like to repeat the word a uh, fraction. Psh, this is my, my fraction move. Fraction. And then I would like to repeat a uh, the word a uh, throw. Psh, throw, I throw to the sides. And then I would like to repeat the word grab. This is my grab. And then from here, I would like to repeat a, my, another word is fraction. And after that, I would like to repeat a word smoke. And it's smoke, a different smoke. And then I would like to finish with a, my throw. So it's mean, this is, the, we can go for the part two. So I have press, friction, throw, grab, friction, smoke, 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 throw. That's the whole thing of that A fray. Let's go back from the top. So we have press, grab, friction, throw, and smoke. 
smoke, smoke, smoke sharp pin, drop, press, uh, press, fraction, throw, grab, fraction, smoke, 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 and throw to finish. Woo! That's the whole thing of the fray. One last time. One last time, and then we're gonna practice with music. So I, I'm not gonna put any count. You just go for it with your own time, your own rhythm. Practice with music, and after that, we do a audio description. And maybe we do one last time with the music after the audio description. But for now, let's go back from the top. So, press, grab, friction, throw, and smoke, smoke, smoke. Smoke, sharp pin and drop. And you have a press, fraction, and throw, grab and fraction. Smoke, 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 and throw. Very good. Ooh, I think I forgot to add. You know, after you gonna finish with your throw, I would like to do this again, but you can Finding a different direction, yeah? Or finding a different diagonal that you want to practice. Or maybe turn away from your screen, yeah? Or you want to keep the same, absolutely fine. But right now, shall we practice with music one and then we're gonna do with the audio description. Prepare yourself. Friction, slow, up, smoke, 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 and sharp pin, drop, press, friction, and throw, grab, and friction, smoke, 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 and throw, here, and turn, changing your direction, I'm gonna choose, this is my direction, I'm gonna start again, So, off we go. Press, grab, fraction, slow, smoke, 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 sharp pin, drop, press, fraction, and throw, grab, fraction, smoke, 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 and throw to finish. Very good. So now, we're going to do an audio description. And Dan places one hand on his forehead. Dan grabs his wrist and pulls his first hand away, crossing them back over and throwing them wide and back down to his side. He slowly raises and circles his hands like smoke, then throws them wide, sharply pinching the air and back down. He grabs his shoulder, then brushes the arm forward. He grabs his arm before slicing the air. Grabs his wrist, circling onto his shoulder, then slicing the air again. He repeats the circular motion with his hands before throwing them wide and back down. He then circles his chair around before facing the diagonal. Very good, everyone. One last time with the music. Prepare yourself with your own time and go. Press, grab, fraction, sharp, and smoke, 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 sharp, drop, and drop, and grab, and smoke. Throw. Finding your different direction. And we go. And shut the top. Very good, very good, everyone. 
That is the whole thing, guys, of this A fray. So please have your own time to stretch. And if you like this class, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to your friend. Thank you so much for your lovely energy for joining me today. I'm looking forward to see you again for a version three. Bye bye.